And by the way, I was going to fight Thomas Hitman Hearn back in 1992. And my promoter, he called up there to the Crump and said, uh, how much would it cost to get Tommy Hearns in Louisville, Kentucky? Maggie Stewart said, $200,000. He says for Tim Knight. He said, I don't care for Stevie Wonder. <laughs> So that fight never, never, never panned out. That was my dream fight. Yeah. All the brothers in the street said, man, you can whoop him, man. You know, all the pimps are flipped. Man, you can whoop him, man. He ain't got it no more. I'll be there. My heart about to jump out my chest. <laughs> if you would have fought Tommy Hurd, what, what would you have done different? I mean, how would you beat him? Or what would have been your strategy? My trainer Biscuit told us, if we get this fight, I got to get in there and I got to work. Then we're going to concentrate on the... Uh, the jab and the straight right hand. Cut going to Tommy with the jab, staying off the ropes and out of the corner, because Tommy got a good jab too. So it would have been more of a jabbing contest. You know. And I've seen I've been watching Tommy Hearns ever since I was an amateur. You know. I mean I tossed turn all night long. Couldn't get no sleep. And all I could do was see other guys up uh, shoe sizes. <laughs> so I was always wondering how am I gonna beat him? Yeah. You know, because I've been watching him for so long, you know, and he's always been a killer, man, a killing machine. Right. You know. He got that drunk driver right in. I mean you got dog, they give you the breath last, you gonna fail anyway. <laughs> there you have it. Thanks, Tim.